going to be scrapping this switch out. Um, this is the tag that was on it. Used spare AC. I'm assuming air conditioning? Not sure. Um, it came out of a large lot, several van loads that uh, I picked up from a TV station, but who knows what it's actually from. Could be from their AC unit, could be from something operating on alternating current, obviously. But we're going to take it apart. Hopefully it's not worth a lot of money. And we'll see what it's worth in scrap. Could be some silver contacts, I'm hoping. Um, we'll see what else there is. First, we'll take off the base here, hoping that uh, it is holding part of the unit together. We can actually get... Uh, there we go. There we go. This is just a piece of steel. It's not brass or anything. You can tell the, the tip on my screwdriver or the uh, blade is magnetic. So I can feel just a slight bit of magnetism. So we've got a transformer. So we've got some copper, but it's riveted together. Oh. That was easy to strip. <laughs> anyway, so there's, uh, yeah, that's a bit of uh, a couple pieces of brass there that can be taken off pretty easily. So we will take those off, microscrap it out uh, eventually. And there's our copper right there. Now, like I said, I'm still hoping there's some switches in here. But uh, I guess we'll find out. We'll first snip this out. Okay, and to remove this copper is easy. Basically, you end up breaking, breaking the. Uh, oh, we've got some copper springs or brass springs, red brass maybe. Copper springs probably. But this should be easy enough. Yeah, this will be pretty easy. This will break in such a way that uh, the copper will come right out, or theoretically will come right out. Yeah. So rather than taking that tape off, it's easier just to pull the, I find it easier just to pull whatever copper will come out. Like that anyway there is a little bit more which we can pull out I'm not going to bore you I'll pull it out later but got a good little bit of copper winding inside of that and it is copper as far as we know not aluminum look at the ends yep copper okay now, let's see what else is in here. Take the top screws out. Let's see if we have any silver contacts. Be a nice little bonus. Okay, a little piece of brown bake light. Well, we have copper contacts anyway. That's what we have. Perhaps there's silver underneath. And how will we take that apart? Is it going to come apart easy or is it going to be difficult? Okay, that breaks right off. That's just some steel 
from the transformer. Bake light. That still doesn't release anything. Okay, I'm going to pop these springs out to see if that'll release the contacts. There's one last one there. You can see there. Pop those out. And it releases the so or the uh, copper contacts. Now looks like we have just copper with a thin coat of silver. If you look at the side side view there's just a very thin coat of silver so if there was silver on these there's not that much anymore sorry if you can't see it there but trust me it's mainly copper with a thin coating of silver oh well we got some copper anyway and the rest of it don't know. It appears we have some other copper contacts underneath these. So let's go after them. Oh, it's brass, or not brass, sorry, that's steel. These are aluminum. They're way too light to be copper. Way, way too light. So here's what we got out of it. Six of these here and three of these double-sided contacts or double-ended rather and again not that much silver on these. Um, a bit of brass, a couple of